people here, <laughs> including coriander haters. No? No. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you don't like coriander, stop watching now. <laughs> oh, we're going to get some comments about that, aren't we? <laughs> the ultimate grilled spiced chicken. So much cool fresh stuff going on. This is like the chicken wrap of your dreams. This is my Indian style chicken souvlaki. Okay, so we're taking that wonderful thing, the Greek souvlaki, um, and we're just kind of like spicing it up a little bit with some Indian flavors. Uh, we're gonna start off first of all with some chicken and we're gonna get that marinating in all those beautiful spices. So I've got some chicken thigh here. Now the cool thing about making this for dinner, guys, is that we're gonna marinate the chicken, get it cooking, and then while the chicken's cooking, we can get everything else prepared. So it's kind of like, it is kind of an easy dinner, even though there's a few bits and pieces. Um, all right, to the chicken, I want some garlic. And then here we go with the flavor. So some turmeric, which actually gives us a lovely golden color as well. Some garam masala. Now the cool thing about garam masala is that it's a spice blend all in one. You don't have to have a million spices in your pantry. Um, garam masala is a nice, easy cheat there. Okay, now we want some salt here as well. And some oil. Give that a really good mix. And this is like a really punchy marinade. So look, great if you do have the time and you can leave it, um, but I'm just gonna get it straight on my grill once I've mixed it all up and popped it on the skewers. All right, so get in here with some skewers. I happen to have some metal ones, which, is, which are kind of really handy because you can really load them up. Uh, if you're using bamboo skewers, the regular kind of wooden ones, make sure you do give them a good soak in some water before you use them so they don't burn in your pan or on your grill. Okay, so we've got our skewers here. You can do this on an outdoor grill or just in a pan like I'm doing. A little bit of oil. Now, pop those on. Now, I like to go for a fairly high heat to start with, and then once I've got the color, I'll kind of turn it down and cook them through. But start them off high, uh, and while they're sizzling away nicely, we're gonna do a whole lot of other stuff to get dinner ready. Okay, so first up, let's do our, um, it's like an Indian coriander mint chutney style of things. So, I need lots of coriander, like at least a bunch. I'm talking about like two cups sort of packed in there of chopped coriander. So, now this is the same kind of condiment that I would serve with Indian curries that I make at home. Uh, also really great on sandwiches or bread rolls. So it's kind of like an all-purpose condiment. You're gonna wanna have it hanging around once you've made it once. Uh, and I'll keep it in the fridge for a few days. So, make more than you think you need. Now, some mint leaves here as well. Now, I'm gonna throw a green chili in here as well because I like things spicy, <laughs> as you guys know, but uh, you can leave it out if you wanna keep this mild. Some lemon juice. And just a little dash of some ground cumin here as well. Some salt. And let's blend this up. Now you might just need to, depending on the size of your blender or food processor, just kind of push things down a little, get that working in there. Oh, these are smelling really good. Let's come back and have a look here. So, oh yeah, that color is beautiful. Let's turn those over. Okay, so see how we've got that really nice color now? I'm gonna just turn this down and just let those guys cook on a more like a medium kind of heat rather than a really high sear. That way they'll cook all the way through. All right, but let's come back to our chutney over here. So once you've got everything looking very well blended and chopped in there, you can just spoon that out. Oh, and it smells so 
fresh and amazing. Yum. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there, and I don't agree with you, but I know there's a lot of you that don't like coriander out there. Um, you can make this just with mint if you want to as well. What you do want to do here is add some yogurt, just some natural yogurt. Okay, give that a mix. I mean, I do love a traditional Greek souvlaki as well, don't get me wrong, right? I mean, there's nothing more joyous. Couple more condiments here. Um, now, I've got some red onion, and I'm gonna make just a really quick red onion pickle. This is such an easy thing to do, and will add such a big, lovely kind of kick of sour, vinegary, oniony flavor. It's good. Um, you want some lemon juice. Some salt. And that's it, just give it a mix and let it sit there until you're ready to eat. Now a little extra bit of freshness here. I've got some tomato, some cucumber, and that's gonna be like our little kind of fresh veg in our souvlaki wrap. All right, so here we go guys. Like we've got the whole spread. This is how I would do it at my table at home, the pita bread, the onion, the sauce, the cucumber, tomato. We've got our beautiful chicken skewers here. All right, a little bit of mint just to sprinkle over the top of our chicken skewers here. So there we go guys, this is my Indian style chicken souvlaki spread, oh my goodness, looking so good. Um, this is how we roll with this one. So we get some pita bread and some chicken. And then I like to go in with the cucumber and tomato. This is like a choose your own adventure kind of thing as well. So um, a little bit of onion and then get some of that good stuff on there. That green stuff is like dynamite. A few little mint leaves. Wrap that guy up and get in there is all I can say. Oh my goodness. So yum. Oh, dang. Mm. Wow. Those flavors. The chicken, but then like you get hit with so much tangy freshness from the sauce, from that, that coriander and the mint. Ah, so good. Mm. It really is yum. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button? And even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.